Hi, my name is Jeremy Slayton, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your homemade DVDs into digital files that can be edited on your home PC. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you using a Windows 10 computer and a software program which is free and open source called Handbrake. This piece of software can get the DVD footage off of those DVDs and create digital files that you can uh, use in other software programs to edit, upload, and share online. So to get started, you'll need a Windows 10 computer, and you will also need to download and install the program called Handbrake, which I'll be showing you here in a minute. In addition to that, you'll also need some way to get the DVD footage on your computer, uh, whether that's with a built-in disk drive that comes with your PC or something similar to this, which is an external disk drive that you can connect to your computer via USB port. So with those things and a little bit of your time, uh, you will be able to get the footage off of these DVDs and store them on your computer or flash drive or hard drive or really anything. The possibilities are kind of endless once they're converted. All right, so let's get started. Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm about to show you how to convert a homemade DVD into a digital file using Handbrake. This file can be used on a Windows 10 PC. If you are not comfortable installing the Handbrake software onto your home computer, Consider using one of your local public library's computers for this. All right, let's get started. First, let's open our file explorer and locate our disk drive with the DVD. In this drive, you will notice that it contains folders. One of these folders has files that have small file sizes, and there doesn't seem to be much there. But in the other folder, you will notice these VOB files that are quite large. Let's copy that folder containing the VOB files onto our desktop. Depending on the file size of these VOB files, it's going to take some time. I'll fast forward through this so we don't have to wait during this tutorial. On your screen for this tutorial, it's only 10 seconds, but in real time, it was actually five and a half minutes. So it does take some time. Keep that in mind. Now that the folder has been copied to our desktop, we can close out of the File Explorer window and work on either opening Handbrake or installing Handbrake. To install Handbrake, you can do a search for it down in the left-hand corner or through the web browser, either using Google or Bing. You'll see the web URL is handbrake.fr. When you're on here, you can choose to click on the download link and it will automatically begin to download to your computer and you can follow the prompts to install the software. While we're here on their website, I do want to show you how to find the support document so you can learn more about this program. If you click on Docs, you'll be brought to the page where you can learn much more about Handbrake. Since I'll only be showing you a very small portion of what's possible within the Handbrake program, it's important to know that all of this useful information is listed on their website, including a list of all previous and current releases of the software program. So use this useful information to learn more. All right, so assuming you've installed Handbrake, you can open up Handbrake on your PC. Once it loads, you can choose a source selection. This will be the file that we copied to our desktop. So click on Find Folder and locate that folder that we copied to our desktop earlier. Once Handbrake opens the folder, you will notice that in this program there are several options to choose from when it comes to converting this video. For today's example, we'll be using the web preset for YouTube. Just in case you want to upload it to a YouTube channel, this might be an easy way for you to do so. So I'm going to choose web and YouTube 720p HD video. Once we choose that, we're going to be preparing it to be converted into a file onto our computer. Once you explore a bit more, you'll see that you can choose separate video and audio codecs for your video file. Once you're happy with your selection, you can start the conversion process. And you can choose to save as and create a new name for the file and even browse a location on your computer or if you were going to be saving it to an external device like a flash drive or hard drive, here's your chance to start that process to change where the video file is going to be stored once it's completed in Handbrake. I'm going to choose to save it into the videos folder on my PC. So I'm going to go in here and choose that videos folder and click save. So now the video file, once it's done, will be stored in that location. 
Once you've chosen the location that you want it to be stored, you can begin the encoding process by selecting Start Encode at the top of this window. You'll notice that it does take some time, so feel free to get up and walk away from your PC and come back to check on it at a later time. Like me, you may run into this issue where it pauses at a certain percentage. This isn't a huge deal because what usually works is just by clicking on the pause process at the top of the window and then begin the encoding again. And this usually resolves it and it completes the rest of it with no issue. So here I'm just going to speed things along. I'll continue to speed things up, but I do want to show you an option that you do have once Handbrake completes your project. You can choose this in the lower right hand corner of the window and choose when Handbrake completes your project, you have these options to choose from. I'm going to choose to quit Handbrake. So the program is automatically going to quit once the application converts my video file. So although this is being sped up to a matter of seconds, uh, this process took between about 10 and 15 minutes to complete. Now that Handbrake is done, I can go and find my videos folder where I chose to save this file. And I am going to right click on it and choose to open with and make sure that it's being opened with the photos application on my computer. This is important because photos is the place on Windows 10 where you can choose to create video projects. So if you were looking to get creative with your video, you can edit and add titles and different effects to your videos using this program. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and hopefully you learned something. And now all of those VHS tapes that you had converted to DVDs, uh, you can finally get creative with them and use them in new ways using your computer. Thanks for watching.